guys. Ooh, this is Poet Spice Biblio Scrap. And I'm here for a very special, special video. It's special to me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So, I haven't been doing as many videos as I would like. And they're few and far between. So, I appreciate anybody who's sticking around. And for my new subscribers that have come around. And I'm hopefully going to be able to get myself together. And get things going. <laughs> I don't know why I seem to be able to mo motivate others to get their crap done. And yet, my crap can't get it done. So anyway, I need a mentor. Does anybody want to be my mentor? All right, let me quit rambling because I'm so excited. This video, uh, we all are in this age of technology and computers and laptops and iPhones and talking TVs and electronic houses that tell you what time you have to go to the bathroom and how much milk you have in your refrigerator. And, you know, you, you didn't go to the, the store, so now check your cabinets through a store camera, whatever. But sometimes the old school is so much better. And for me, there is nothing better when it comes to writing than the sound of a typewriter. <laughs> ah! Okay. So, I was watching. You'll see this lovely, lovely. Do you see that? Do you see it? The Smith Corona. And I was watching of uh, YouTube and what do I want to say let me see what it's called so I can tell you it was jot and title vintage typewriters my favorite color is blue and I love retro not that I would want to live in that time period but <laughs> I love retro I love blue I love typewriters so needless to say so excited so first of all I'm rambling again but it came in this hard shell case the Smith Corona and you just do this little pinch the tab and push this and it'll come out okay Ooh, so you open it up and then I don't know if you can see these because it's a black inside but this and there's one in front and then another little tab this little tab here can you see it this tab here that actually locks the typewriter inside so not only does it just sit there but it like latches on the inside I was like oh cool they didn't say that when I got it okay 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 are you ready to see the baby are you ready are you ready and they shipped quickly too. Oh, yes, darling, yes. Let me pull this back a little bit. Now you get to see the rest of my craft table. So those people who watch my craft channel know I got craft crap everywhere. But look at this, darling. Let's see if I can move it over. Move that. Look at this, look at it, look at this baby. It's so beautiful, look at it. It's a Smith Corona. Cornet Super 12. Woohoo! -hoo. And it is electric. I'm trying to see it so you can see all the the doodads and do hickeys. So isn't that cool? So freaking cool. And it's so freaking heavy. It's not the heaviest one I've had or seen or used, but woo, it's heavier than I thought it was gonna be, which is good, right? So it's this lovely color, the original color for it. It's all just fabulous. Look at that. Look. Even that sound. You don't get that sound from a laptop. You don't get that sound from a computer. Oh, oh golly, Miss Molly. This thing is beautiful. Okay, so see, it's, it's so awesome. Now, it's got your little things down here to hold your paper. And it goes down. <laughs> Look at that. You've got your margin set here. Your, I forget what this one does, so I have to look that one up again. But this one does your line spacing over here, which is fabulous. You've got your release over here. There's a button on the side that goes in, so I need to figure out what that is for because it'll go in and then it comes out too. So, not quite sure 
why it does that. So if somebody actually knows, you can let me know. <laughs> then it's got, you know, uh, easy cartridge. You just take it out and then shove it back in, which is pretty cool. And there's just a button, so you can't see this on the other side, but a little button and you push the tab. Oops. Oh, I might have to, oh, there we go. So you push the tab and the cartridge comes out. It's a weird little cartridge though. Never seen one like this before. But they do have refills, so I'm like, yes. And then all you do is you just stick it back in here and boop, it's ready to go. So weird, so weird. And then you have here, your tabs, like I set my tabs yesterday. So your tab set, your tab clear, your tab button, your backspace, which is so weird, you know, because we're used to, like here's your backspace, doo, doo, doo. we're so used to that it's over here in the corner, just go boop and it backs or deletes. And you actually have to go tick, 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 tick. This one is kind of cool because it, this is your exclamation point in your one, but it's not really on there. It's, it's rubbed off, but it's so cute. And then you have your other ones over here. Then, you know, your lock and shift. Let me see if I can pull this down a little bit. So then you have your shift lock. This is your strike to see how heavy it goes. I push pretty hard, so it's probably, like I'm very heavy handed, so it's probably, you know, they could put it on one and I'd be okay. I'm not sure that it works very well or how much it does, because um, I went through it and just tested it a little bit. Your space bar, boo, 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 boo. and then your power and shift and on and stuff. So let's load this puppy, you know, let's load it. Let's load the puppy. And here's my other writing thing, red fingernail polish. I don't know why, red fingernail polish and typing. It's fabulous. I know, I'm so weird. And this is such a long video for no reason at all. So let's go ahead and load this up. So we're gonna put a piece of paper. Uh, finish our paper in here and roll it on up. And this one over here lets you adjust. Oh, I'll pull this up. Lets you adjust. Let's see if it's straight. It's kind of not straight. So let's straighten it up a little bit. Straighten it up. Yeah. Look at that back down. And then. Let's turn this sucker on. I might have to lift it up though so it didn't go boop. Did you hear it? It's so loud. <laughs> In comparison to your computer, you know, it doesn't do much. <laughs> so let's go ahead and hit power return. See, that's why I was afraid to make sure I got enough stuff. And then we're just going to pull this down a little bit. Can you see it? Can you see it? Let's see if we can get some keystrokes going on here. I don't know if anybody else just like is such a big nerd. <laughs> but I love it. So. And then you can do a margin release. Let me go back on space, margin release. And then hit return. And then hit your tab button and it goes. <laughs> now, let me see, I'm gonna hit, go back here. Let me hit tab. There we go. Oh no, can you see it? <laughs> so fun. Look at that mess. Oh my God. Look at it. How fun is that? 
How fun. And it's really funny because I've made fewer typing mistakes on the typewriter than I do on a computer. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you my new Cornette Super 12 Smith Corona baby. Retro in the house. All right, thanks for watching.